You were literally doing something in the lab every day that was impossible 10 years ago. So what we're really pushing up against in the lab all the time is, is being the first ones to find the answer to something that's not known. My name is Kristen Bernand, and I'm an associate professor in genetics and genomics, neuroscience and psychiatry here at Sinai. 1% of people in our country and every country in the world are affected by schizophrenia, and they're all terribly controlled by existing medications. And so we really felt like we could meet an unmet need. The fundamental problem in psychiatry in general is you can't go into a patient's brain and take a biopsy each week to feel your experiments. And so we use stem cells as a tool we can take skin samples from any patient or any control and we program those into stem cells that have the capacity to make every cell type in the body, we can in the laboratory generate brain cells that are genetically identical to every single one of our patients. We can edit them, we can tweak their DNA and ask what happens, we can screen them for drugs to find new therapeutics, we can do all the experiments that we wish we could do on the patients instead on their cells in the laboratory. By understanding why patient cells act differently in the lab, we'll understand two things, how to make them better in patients and how to better predict in patients which drugs to use. The ultimate goal is not just to understand why patients get schizophrenia, but to prevent and reverse it. I'm here at Sinai because I'm surrounded by the best geneticists, psychiatrists, and neuroscientists. By working in a team environment, no matter what we want to ask, there is an expert in that close by, somebody who can help us do better experiments. It's really amazing to see that you can take something that seems impossible and then becomes routine and then becomes a whole field. And each day or week or month, we just want to know a little bit more about how best to use stem cells to answer the simple questions and then ultimately the really big ones.